This tutorial will introduce the software Ensemble. Ensemble is a database of human genomics information that helps researchers establish connections between different species genomes. Researchers often use Ensemble to learn how common a particular gene variant, or allele, is in a given population. They also use it to see homologous variants in species besides humans, for instance to look at the genes humans share with other primates such as chimpanzees. In this unit, we use Ensemble to examine the ancestral alleles and also to examine the allele frequencies for each gene variant. Two important terms to understand are minor allele frequency and ancestral allele. Allele frequencies allow us to examine genotypes rather than just phenotypes and to understand what percentage of the alleles out there are of a particular variety. Disease-causing variants are generally not the most common alleles. The minor allele frequency is a measure of the percentage of a population that carries these, luckily less common, risky alleles. Ancestral alleles occur at the same location in other closely related species, and it is thought to represent the allele that was present at the time of speciation. In other words, the allele that the species' common ancestor carried. Gaining a better understanding of both the minor allele frequency and ancestral alleles helps researchers better understand how disease-causing genetic variants have become more or less common over time. To find this information in Ensemble, first paste each of the SNP IDs into the search box. At the top, we can find both the minor allele frequency and the ancestral allele, both of which should be incorporated into the SNP information table. If we click the Population Genetics button, we can gain more insight into how common each SNP is. Note how, for some SNPs, the different variations have almost the same frequency across different groups. However, for other SNPs, such as RS1726866, we can see that certain populations are more likely to have one variant compared to another. While the bitter-tasting SNPs aren't very high stakes, a SNP related to a trait such as medication metabolism can have a significant impact on someone's life. Because there can be differences in the prevalence of some alleles between different populations, it's important to test how new medications perform in a diverse group in order to ensure it works well for all patients, rather than only in patients with a certain genetic variant. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.